Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. I'm going to show you five ways to clear double collar ties, or the Muay Thai plume, within the context of mixed martial arts. A collar tie is used to move your opponent, or to create a frame to move around your opponent, to set up takedowns and to set up strikes, like the single leg knee tap I'm using on Jordan right here, or this double leg that my friend Iago is using on me right here. Collar tie should always be used dynamically because the clinch is a dynamic position. You cannot and should not attempt to camp out holding onto a collar tie for a position of security because there is no such thing in a fight. You're always moving, your opponent is always fighting back. If he is not, however, if your opponent latches on with double collar ties and stands there, throw him. Here's how. I pinch my elbows tight to my body and I dead lift my opponent. Not with my hands, but with my hips, my back, and my full body, exactly like a deadlift. The hands are simply the connecting point. Let's address the issue of re-establishing broken posture. Broken posture, it's a big deal. If Nick's head is down here, he's toast. Not just strikes, but takedowns, sprawl on him, squish him. So, one of the things I want to clear is this collar tie. I've got to be able to clear ties, okay? So it's not just a hand up here, but it's, it's my whole body up here that's causing a problem right here. Okay, so Nick, get really, really tight. Get your head like yeah, right in there. Grab double collar ties on me. Squeeze these elbows really tight. Okay, so he's got my posture broken. And there are a bunch of ways to deal with this, but I'm going to address one. One, change the position of the hips. So I'm going to get these under me. And two, I'm going to drive up. So I'm essentially deadlifting. Doesn't that require strength? Yeah. Pick up some barbells. It's good for you. All right. But it's not arm strength. It's hip strength. It's deadlift strength. Now, I don't actually have to lift his whole body up off the floor. If he's got a single tight collar tie, I can do this on one arm. And now I've created space to pummel for the grip that I need. Now, I'm bigger than the neck here. Nils, come on over here. Nils is, is bigger than Nick as well. As well. He's got a, a really strong grip right here. So if he's pulling down, being vicious with this, okay, lifting him up off the ground is less realistic. However, elevating so I can make some space to get to the inside is not only realistic, but it's, it's uh, fairly simple to do. So one more time, he's got a collar tie. I posture up, I make some space. Right? So I didn't lift him off the ground, but I created some space. So if he's doing that same thing, here, go and elevate right under my armpit. So he's pushing up right here. I'm still holding on, but he's made some space there. Space is the, the key right here. Here, grab a tight collar tie with this arm, right? So I drive up. Now I've got the space for a reverse collar tie. Gives me a space for the inside. If you're not familiar with the concept of the inside of the clinch, the inside of the clinch is where you control the clinch from. So for example, here grab a collar tie. Right now he's controlling the clinch. If I can swim this hand to the middle, now hook. I'm controlling the clinch. If he brings this arm back to the middle, oh, he just got control of that clinch. Right? If he's got two arms in the middle, now he's controlling this. If my arms are on the outside, he still has control. So I want to bring my arms to the inside. This is true with every clinch. Let's go to uh, a head and arm tie up right here. So I've got the bicep, I've got the head. Right now I've got control of the clinch, right? But if Nils swims his arms to the middle, he blocks my bicep, he grabs the head. Now he's got control right here. Let's go to everybody's favorite self-defense technique, the two-handed rape choke right here. <laughs> Bring your hands to the inside. Oh, look. Suddenly he negated all the power and control I had right there, instantly, just by getting the inside of the clinch. Check this out, a women's self-defense video that actually uses this principle correctly. Notice she pummels to the inside of the clinch before attempting to gouge his eyes. Hey, correct principles in action. The reverse collar tie. This thing right here. It's a forearm across the body. I can push and I can pull, and I can combine this with other ties as well. Okay, I'm gonna use this to reestablish position and clear his ties. So he's reaching for those double collar ties. 
I'm reaching up through the middle. It allows me to get a bicep grip, pummel for the head, etc. So again, double collar ties. I'm reaching up through the middle. Notice I'm elevating here. And this will work with a single collar tie as well. If he's got a single collar tie, mm -hmm. right? Reverse collar tie, elevate. Use that for duck unders. Okay. Or go ahead. I can use that to establish my own double collar ties as well. So I've got this on the other side, right? Always working for the inside. I have to stress how incredibly important it is to practice clinch sparring on a regular basis. You cannot be any good at clinch fighting if you don't practice against live resistance. So take the time on a regular basis to drill live. Well, Lindsay's going to grab a tight clinch right here. And this, this will work not just for um, double collar ties or a tight plume, but for basically any clinch you don't like, which is cross face and posture. Okay, so I'm putting my hands across his chin. That's the lever of his face and I'm posturing up again that deadlift strength from the hips. Let me see posture up. Posture's broken. Now I push here, straighten out in posture. Now I've created space to get to the inside of that clinch. Okay. Ali's going to break me down in a, a Muay Thai home. He's got double collar ties. He's got my posture broken. All of my tricks are not working. I can't cross space. I can't posture up. I can't throw them, whatever. And I can't get my hands in here. This is too tight. So I'm going to reach around the outside. And I'm going to take a foot. And I'm going to plant it here on his hip. And as I push, I will posture up. So I'll do this again. Okay? Do it on the other side. So I have my collar ties on the outside. I turn my foot out like an oblique kick, put on his hip, crease, push as I posture, and that will give me space to bump onto the inside. Okay? Here, wanna give that a try? So I've got the inside clinch, it's really tight. So you grab an outside clinch, just over the top, right? Put your foot right on my hip and push as you pull it up. And now you pump. So notice he's broken my posture with his foot right there. Okay? Yeah, and you have a lot of power. Again, he's got my posture broken down. Get this really tight. I reach over the outside. Take my foot. And now push. So this, I'm going, I'm turning up my foot like an oblique kick. Right on the crease of the hip. It's not a groin kick. It's not a, not a thigh kick. It's a push. So again, right on the crease of the hip. Okay. You may or may not break the grip, but what you will do is create space. So grab really tight, pinch these elbows together really tight so I can't fit my hands in there. But I push, and now that's got me enough space to get my collar tight in there. Okay. Yeah, I tried full power in there. This next technique is a high risk, high reward maneuver. When your posture is broken in a clinch, in this case, a front headlock, but can also work with double collar ties, I fix my posture, shooting my hips under my opponent, elevating my back to a vertical position, and then shoot for the legs. So he's starting to break me down here. I'm going to square my hips up, drive my hips forward, bring my hands under here like I'm gonna lift him, but instead of lifting him, because he's too strong or big or whatever, and push myself down. Uh -huh. right. So let's do that again from a different angle. So. Now it's it's imperative that we stay very close so we don't drop into a knee, right? And it's imperative I fix my posture first. I'm not here, break my posture. I'm not dropping down here because that's face planting into a knee. Okay? I've got to go from this position to this position. Okay? So right now my posture is broken. Right now it's unbroken. Now I can shoot. Now I can squeeze here. Now I can ask my guard and do some nasty stuff. As always, thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. And if you happen to be on the west side of Shanghai over in the Minhong district, come check us out at the UFL gym for kickboxing, mixed martial arts, jujitsu, yoga, and more.